Good evening, this is Drago, and of course we're gonna do some uh, Merfolk this evening. Um, this one is a bit different as we're gonna have a new list with new cards, so I'm excited about, uh, excited about it. Um, I got a uh, comment or uh, something on uh, Twitter here. Uh, we saw this fine gentleman, TD Babu, saying here, I qualified for regional championships last Saturday's RCQ with Merfolk. Our team predicted a lot of Merc Tides, Four Color and Burn decks. And it was spot on. Shout out to the teammates. And uh, Trickstar was uh, MVP. I'm not unfamiliar with that specific uh, uh, experience. So uh, here's the deck he ran. Uh, notable things here, of course, is for main deck Chalice. I've been uh, loving Chalice of the Void because you can easily just uh, slot it in uh, in the main deck and play it. Um, so great card, uh, but another thing that's interesting, especially in compared to uh, to that card, is uh, Richard and Dark Hand. And uh, um, TB uh, TD Babu told us that here that uh, it was a pretty nice card, Richard and Dark Hand, for him because it allowed him, especially on the play, to uh, slow down uh, the four color uh, dudes uh, playing. So uh, really interesting. Um, uh, this uh, and also the sideboard. I have it here where we can see it a bit differently in inside the Magic Arena, but. Uh, yeah, Richard and Darkhand. A 1-2, one, 1 mana, uh, Island Walker. This was supposed to be our dream 1-drop uh, from Modern Horizons 2, um, but it has not seen that much play, uh, and I have not myself been that uh, excited about it. I haven't even played it that much, but since uh, Babu's uh, success here, I wanted to uh, give it a spin, and of course with the old border here. This is a, like a big shout to... Uh, a Richard and Port, which is a land, uh, an old land. Um, let's see, let's see the old land. Let's see the. Uh, Richard and Port, Richard and Port. An old land from uh, Mercadian Masks. You can see it here, pretty valuable. Uh, and it was a really strong card back in the days when this uh, came out uh, originally. Uh, because it's like this free thing you can do, you can just, uh, you know, uh, have this in your deck, uh, it gives a colorless mana, and then you can uh, tap it to, to slow down your opponent sometimes. The problem with uh, Dark Hand, in my opinion, is that this is not a free thing you can do. You are getting, you have to put it on a creature, you can't do it uh, uh, that fast, now you can attack with the creature, and what does it give us? It gives us Island Walk uh, to, you know, to uh, make sure that the status is okay on this. But we do have Iron Walk from the Lord, so that's why I don't really like this card. But um, TD Babu gave us a, gave it, uh, gave it his thumbs up, so we're gonna try today. Maybe it's good. Uh, also, uh, we can see we play. Uh, other than that, uh, we have Force Negations and uh, Svelu. Notably, we have the subtleties in the sideboard and only three of them. Uh, that's an uh, interesting take. I like my subtleties, and I think they are best in the main deck. But uh, let's see. Tech-wise, I like the spell sort of sprite. We've been talking about that before. This is good against Cascade, a, a one, uh, a two mana, one one flash creature that allows you to counter something that's uh, X or less, where X is the number of pharaohs you control, and of course, cascading into uh, cr uh, yeah, crashing footfalls or uh, living end is a free spell, so that costs zero. That's why the spell sort of sprite be able to counter it, but you can also counter one mana spells uh, pretty often. Let's take this for a spin. Mm hmm round one. Um, this hand is quite awkward. It doesn't really do anything. Can we keep this hand? Mm, I don't think we can. The chalice needs to be really good at least. Maybe just keep this hand and yeah. And, and go all in for the chalice. We get the information if this is a, you know, a chalice, where a chalice can win us the game or not. He mulligans to five. Insane keep by the man here, but uh, I just feel like maybe a chalice can win us the game. I love this card. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at this old borrow one, nice. Of course, uh, not the best situation for uh, this specific situation here. Oh, but look at it, we drew it. We drew the dark hand. That's such an amazing draw. <laughs> 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 you 
<laughs> Yay! And next turn we can play the Chalas for one. I think I consider Force Negation uh, on a burn spell here. So we can freely pay the Chalas on uh, one next turn. Then our Resident Dark Hand would be unstoppable in order to block the Ragavan. <laughs> no! What's this? A, a bird? It's the bird, it's the word. Can't count on that one. Okay, definitely want to challenge for one here. The question is, I think Mood of All is fine to play. But we're not attacking with Mood of All next turn anyway, so let's just play the island. Yeah. Okay, so the Legend Trigger is a threat, but it kills us in, is it 20 turns? 20 turns! He mulligans to five, he can't play any one drops. That's, that's gotta hurt. It's gotta, it's, it's just got to hurt. Another Legislator maybe? Express Iteration, this is one of the cards I want to counter. Get out of here. Also because it's a, it's a great way for him to you know, fill up his graveyard with stuff so he can uh, merge side. Mm hmm. Yeah, he grows his uh, Let's Rider. That's nice. Well played. Svelun, what a perfect draw. Beautiful. Yeah. Main deck chalice gives me really exciting feeling inside my body. And maybe a weird draw here can pan out. So he has actually three types of uh, things in his graveyard here. Three things. We should start. We should actually start tapping it down. Okay, that's something we can play. If we tap it down, I need to. Uh, I don't want to attack with Mood of All yet. Let's just take, attack with Svelun here to draw the card. Fourth in case, that's pretty good. Look here, I just opened this an old border one, so I had to, of course, get in there. I think here Waterlock Grove is fine. It allows us to crack that. Um, for I think this is where in the upkeep we are uh, gonna tap down with Vision and Port. Vision and Dark Hand. Because he can play a land and then play Merc Tide, right? Can he? How is it? Uh, so three, four. Yeah, he can. He can play Merc Chart unless I tap it down here. So let's do that. Let's down, let's take down this one. That's of course a problem because I can't. You know, now. Now I need to block with the Moodle Vault, but I think it's better. So I, so I don't get uh, hit by a Merc Tide. It would, it would be like a 4-4 Flyer, but right now we're not winning against a 4-4 Flyer. So we need to uh, increase our chances of winning. Why are you so confused about this, Mr. Jumps? He's considering using uh, Artemis Jam or what? No.
Så vi plockar på Mutterfall og The Ragavan. Fight, monkey, fight. Did you not see that coming? And we crack this one. A land, that's good. Good to get that out of the way. Adept is fine, we can't play it though. Uh, let's just play this one down, saying we're folk. And pass the turn. Here, I don't think I want to tap anymore because now I run a just hold of force negation. Now we can't read the Murktide, counter Murktide anymore. Two points of damage is coming in. It's not that exciting of a game right now, but uh, more force negation here. I am actually changing the clock if I start attacking with the Richard and Doc Hand instead. Let's do that. Chalice. I don't I don't see any reason for tapping down lanes anymore. He has two cards in hand. But drawing wave okay would have been nice. Being able to play the edit, but it's okay. I think, uh, no, yeah, we are in there. I wanted to say I had a great day today. I was uh, I was off work and I got to cut the grass, you know, with the old lawn mower, cut the lawn, consider. Okay, so now he's going for it. Growing this one. Counter spell. And now Murktai comes in. It's kind of a problem. We need to draw something here, otherwise, we're dead next turn. Okay, so tapping would actually have been relevant here. That's uh, fortunate. I could have just uh, sacked one more card. Let's draw Trickster. Tight Saber is not, not it. So now we have some Instructable. An Island Walk, okay. That's not good enough. Three, four, five, six. It's only six points of damage, that's unfortunate. So attacking with one damage earlier was uh, actually uh, enough. There is the Trickster. Damn. We managed to pull it out of our behind here. That was kind of lucky, but I did choose to not have the Cavern of Souls being tapped because of uh, the potential draw. Okay, you guys can see it in this. You see here we drew this one, this Trickster here. So that's so nice. Can't be countered. You don't say. That was a fortune, uh, very fortunate for us. Yes, 
Are we doing it, sir? This master will grant all my creatures unblockable. I think I just want to hold a force here. We're gonna to go to sideboarding. Okay. Relics and dismembers are coming in. I like actually I also like Kiras. Do I? Prison Boris is good. Salty is also good. Especially on the draw. Um you can consider Kira. What, we, what don't we like? We don't like Force Negation. We like Chalice on 1. That's pretty nice. And if we have Chalice on 1, I actually don't love the Tide Shaper. Uh, maybe Rich and Dockhand is, is a better call uh, as a 1 one drop. You can see, you know, Tide Shaper, you can play it and you can block the, um, the weirdo little uh, monkey. But... The problem with the card is that it, it counters uh, by the uh, Chalice for one. Richard and Duckhand does that as well. I don't really know actually what's the best here, but maybe Kira is better. But okay, so we still like uh, all the Lords and Adepts. We can cut a couple of Lords for Kiras maybe. So Eruns is, is pretty great. I still think this is pretty nice. This is fine, this, this setup here. It's just that you, you actually do want ha to have uh, blockers early. Let's try this. And the uh, salties are good against Nurek Tide. Andreas Pearson asks in the chat here, have you tried Harbinger recently? Feels really nice against Nurek Tide. It's been some time since I uh, put uh, uh, Harbinger in. Um, I kind of like the card, it's, it's it's not bad at all. Um, and yeah, especially against Nurek Tide here, it would have been amazing, right? Um, t uh, bouncing the Nurek Tide at that moment. Harping of the tides. Um, oh, this hand is weird. Uh, but harping of the tides, you can see it here. This card here. A 2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two for 2. Uh, and you may pay 2 extra to pay for flash, but you can also just use the vial, right? And then you have to tap a target tap creature in opponent controls. I wish it wasn't a tap creature. That's what I'm trying to say here. Oh, this hand. Sand so slow, doesn't do anything. Let's mod again. Much better hand. Um, I'm just gonna put back the Muda Vault. Okay, so both hands we had, uh, we would have been really uh, punished by uh, the turn one um, Ragavan. But we knew, of course, that there was no turn one Ragavan because we are so next level. Oh my lord, it's the Richard and Dog hand turn one. Am I really getting impressed by this card now? It's so nice to draw it here. It's nice to draw it here because then I won't get encountered by the Chalice of the Void if I drew it in turn 3 instead. Hmm. You can also see if it had been a tight shaper. Now we did tap uh, at a crucial moment and we should have tapped another time as well. We did use it actually. We did use it to tap down something. Look, it's stealing something, right? I actually like like the art. It's like old school magic art. Oh, this is actually fine for us. He's just playing a Legend Shredder. That's absolutely fine for us. Oh, Mister's Bubble. Whoa, old border Mister's Bubble. This is so cool. Wow. Props off to the man. Did he know? Did he know? Is he stream sniping? <laughs> he knew! He knew all along. Chalice of the Void was in. That's absolutely nuts. You want to get the Considerus in the grave as fast as possible because he knew we had the Chalice of the Void in the hand. That's so shady. I don't believe him. <laughs> I think actually I have bought myself a, a playset of these one these guys here for paper, but have I never I never played them in paper. Are you ready to throw out your keyboard? Wow! Did I just draw that? That's such a good draw. 
Okay, we're not attacking with Motorball anytime soon. Let's just get it down anyways. So the Cavern Soul is so nice because uh, maybe he can't play a lot of uh, spells. Uh, so he could might maybe just set up, hold up Count Bottle, hit for two. And then he could counter our Svelum. Okay, expression is not amazing for us that he can play that. Such a card engine. I think the force negation on the on that card is nice. You might as well find something now because he can't use that mana for anything. Oh, he can grow the Ledger Shredder. Yeah, he can grow the Ledger Shredder by throwing away Consider. He might do that. So since since we are, are playing to Alun next turn, we might as well attack with Michelin Duck Hand. But you see what I mean, right? The Island Walk is such a weird ability. Why why does it grant me Island Walk? What will I ever use that for? It's not that I can't ever use it, I know, but I just get Island Walk from all of these guys. Okay. Svealoon. Svealoon of Sea and Sky. You see, it 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 it, it does matter here. I think we have uh, a big old Murktide coming in now. Big old Murktide. It won't be that big though. There's only two spells in the graveyard, so it's 5-5 five, five right now. Oh, it's a Legis Shredder. Oh, and he grows both Legis Shredders. Oh my god, unholy heat. This feels so bad. Oh, it could counter right away, son. Ouch, ouch. Did anything think that would work? Feels so bad. No, no, no. Maybe it's just to grow it. Maybe it's just to grow it. Then it's fine. But then I would have targeted the Richard and Duck Hand just to indicate that yeah, I know I can't kill any of your creatures because of Chalice of the Void being a busted magic card, but I know what I'm doing at least. He's conniving. Connive. I'll connive. Okay, so it's pretty big this here. We go down to a three turn clock, but we'll also present a pretty nice clock now. Uh, you can see here, now it's a race. It's a race, the race is on. We just have to power race here. Oof, Trickster, that gives us a nice edge in the race. You can see here, four, we give him 10 points of damage here, going to turn to five, so I can't really see him doing anything here. Legislator is really nice. I also like the art. It's like he's stealing scrolls, this bird. Why is he wearing a jacket? You have feathers under there. Okay. So the trick that gives us some, uh, you know, interesting uh, options if anything goes wrong here. But I don't think as I can see what can go wrong with the Chalice in play. It's just such a great card. It's uh, granting us full protection. Compressor Ironic asked me uh, in the chat that uh, if I uh, if I play EDH, Elder Dragon Highlander, and what commanders do I play? 
I used to play uh, Elder Dragon Highlander when it just uh, got uh, popular in Europe. Uh, they released some starter packs, uh, some starter decks. Some of my friends bought those, but I did not. I chose my uh, commander out of being an absolute pro. You see my commander right here. I'll show you my commander in a second. Hang on. After this match, I'll show you my commander. Two birds coming in. Are we dead? No, we're not dead. We're on 10. He, he pays his five off canal and goes to end step. I think everybody is, is on the edge of their seat to know what commander uh, Draco wing here has been playing. Svelum. Let's attack. What can go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? Nothing. He conceded the match, and now I will show you the commander of my choice. It was Traximundar. Traximundar was such an amazing commander, primarily because it was Grixis colors, so you get to play all the cool cards. Um, a 6-6 six, six haster, and when it, uh, when it, uh, that's of course important, so you can use it right away. And when it attacks, defending player sacrifice a creature, and when a player sacrifice a creature, you may put a 1-1 counter on it. So you can use this as a way of uh, getting uh, big creatures off the board on the other side. And I think today the commanders has just, you know, risen in power value. They printed so many cards. But back for like 10 years ago or something where I played this format, Thraxmundar was a pretty good uh, commander. Pretty nice. Thraxmundar. And we'll be right back for round two.